Hi guys, welcome to this video which is going to be looking at what a limiting reactant is and how they affect a chemical reaction. So any reaction will have something called a limiting reactant. So for example if I had lithium and reacted it with water to make lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. Now the limiting reactant is the one that is used at first. So for example if I had 2 grams of lithium and 100 grams of water and the lithium ran out first, that is what we call the limiting reactant. And when this happened the reaction stops. And in this example, because we had a lot more water than we needed, we would say that that is in excess. So it should make sense to say then that the amount of product that's produced is directly proportional to the amount of your reactant. So if you double the amount of your reactant, you'll double the amount of product you can produce, provided the other reactant stays in excess. Now you can use the limiting reactant to calculate the mass of your products and reactants that you should get. And to do that, click here. I have done that in another video. Right, we have three questions to finish off this video then. The first one being, explain why when you use 3 grams of carbon in a combustion reaction, a maximum 11 grams of carbon dioxide is produced. Question two, explain why in the above reaction, the mass of oxygen does not affect the mass of the end product. And then number three, Proof that the maximum mass of carbon dioxide produced is 11 grams when 3 grams of carbon reacts with excess oxygen. To do question 3, you will need to go back to the video on calculating the maximum mass of a reactant. Pause the video, have a go at the three questions, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through then. So this is worth two marks. Explain why when you use three grams of carbon in a combustion reaction, the maximum of 11 grams of carbon dioxide can be produced. You could go into the calculation, but that's not what this is looking for. We'll look at the calculation in question three. This is saying that the carbon is a limiting reactant for one mark, and then the second mark for saying once it's used up, the reaction cannot continue. Question two, explain why in the above reaction, the mass of oxygen does not affect the mass of the end product key thing there is to say that the oxygen is in excess and that once the carbon is used up there's nothing to react with the oxygen. And then finally for the three marker, prove that the maximum mass of carbon dioxide produced is 11 grams when 3 grams of carbon reacts with the excess oxygen. So you're given the balanced symbol equation which is C plus O2 goes to CO2 and then the atomic mass is C is 12 and oxygen is 16. So your first step is to work out the moles of carbon, which is mass divided by MR. So 3, which is your mass divided by your MR of carbon, which is 12, gives you 0.25. Your second mark is to work out the relative formula mass for carbon dioxide. So 1 carbon is 12, 2 oxygen is 16 times 2. Add that all together, gives you 44 for 1 mark. And then your third mark, mass is moles times by MR, so times 0.25 times by 44. And that gives you 11 grams, which proves that the maximum mass of carbon dioxide produced is 11 grams. The review for this then is explain why in any reaction there is a reactant that is called a limiting reactant and a reactant that is in excess. You should describe what both terms mean in your explanation. And that ends this video. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.